G'day tubers. Random light feed. Providing I'm actually live. Dropped frames already. Excellent. Thank you very much, Australian NBN. Rightio, what's happening? What's going on? I'm going to assume we are live. Um, the stream health is starting. There we go. The system works. Stream health is crap. Excellent. Low video input. I hate you, YouTube. Or Australian internet. Either one. What's going on? Can you see me? Is this worth it? Do I reboot everything and give it another crack? It's saying I've been live for five seconds. There we go. Pause. Can you hear me? Hendrik? Alex? Yes. Excellent. The system kind of works. I just thought I'd stop in for a chat, right? It's like uh, 10 to 4 in the morning in Australia at the moment. And um, I can't sleep. Some could say I'm panicking. Others could say I'm genuinely concerned. And the rest would say I'm just an insomniac and I need to do some work. But either way, I'm here. Technical issues. Yeah, Australian internet. Um, I said no more streams. Yeah, I know. Shuddering a little. I can hear you, but only one image per second. I, I have no idea. Do I stop it now? Do I restart? Who knows? I restarted the modem and stopped. Look at my hair. Jesus. I restarted the modem before I started. Um, six in the evening in Ireland. Welcome. I wonder if it'll get better if I just leave it. I should have had a shower. Pop out chat. There we go. So what's going on, everyone? What's happening in your part of the world? Have you been locked down yet? Do you have enough toilet paper in your household to last you out the week? <laughs> what a load of shit. Coronavirus is causing havoc. Uh, no sound fine here, Mike. One plus out of Ireland. There we go. Do we can this live feed? Is it just is it useless? Because I I can't change any other settings. These are the same settings as last time. Uh, we're isolated already. Apparently, there's somewhere in Australia or something that's been isolated too now. Um, like maybe two hundred fifty k's up the road. Um, speedtest.net this is probably going to make it worse guys but I'm just going to see how terrible the upload is I use the YouTube primary ingester rather than the backup maybe that's it download we got 47 megabits per second um, if I click that one you could probably see there we go Eighteen megabits per second up, so it's the YouTube ingest server and or the transcontinental link or some shit. Ah, oh, that's not good. I'm gonna change providers, I reckon. I actually like the little stream deck. The stream deck is going real well. It's only a little one, but it does work. And I just dropped it now it probably doesn't work. Outstanding. Um so eighteen megabits per second up and um not enough down. Or vice versa. <coughs> uh, video isn't working. Um, we will be locked down this week. Plenty of, in our country all have schools closed until April 6th to buy toilet paper. We reckon the toilet paper companies have um, caused it. 2 p.m. in North Carolina. Everything is shutting down here. No schools open ground. 100 people are location for at least two weeks. Holy shit. It's going to ruin the economy. 
Um, uh, no, to restart your feed, you'll probably get connected to a different server. One frame per second. Okay, I'm going to restart. I'm going to restart. Um, can't type and um, talk at the same time. I should be able to re stop it and then restart it, and it'll just resume it. If it doesn't, you'll have to log back in again, and I'm very sorry. Um, to the 28 people watching me right now. Um, hello, HP Powell. I'm just going to, if anybody comes in, just let them know that I'm restarting. Uh, so, right. Audio. Stream health. It looks better now. See if I lost anybody. Let me know. As soon as I come back on, start typing and let me know. Oh, I just lost like 10 people. It's now good. That little video looks much better. Does it look better? No, that one. Which one is it? This one. Um... <laughs> Someone brought it. This, the, the thing is, you can get toilet paper. It's everywhere. We've got like four toilet paper companies within 100 kilometers of my house. It's just nutcases that are going crazy. And to be absolutely fair, I, I'm not concerned about the virus. I think the virus is just all media. Just concerned about everybody else buying everything, and I'm not going to be able to have everything. Therefore, I feel the need to go buy stuff, which is just perpetuating the madness. Reality it is, I, you know, I'm prepared. I'm not panicked. Um, so who gives a shit? But if you did, you wouldn't have anything to wipe your ass with, would you? I can see this little feed getting demonetized. <laughs> Radio, what's all happening out there in YouTube land? But if I get locked down. I'm going to be doing a lot more live feeds because I'm going to be bored senseless and I'm going to be working on that video. That video has gone on for weeks and it's driving me crazy. Keith, track my order so I know where my cell shrinks are so I can keep going with it. Um, much better, looking better so far here. Everyone have to stay at home. You should go to work. <laughs> Logic. Um... You're going to burn down your house. Well, it hasn't happened yet, so I guess you're shit out of luck on that one. This one is better. Yeah, I'm here, electronic artist. Um, hi, I'm from Japan. Welcome. Can't read your name, unfortunately, brother. Um, it will last forever. You'll need more time. <laughs> um, then the Netherlands, they have schools closed 6th of April. How about using 100 million power cells? Um... You can use 100 million, 1,000 million power cells. I just wouldn't because of energy density. Um, how's the mini going? It's going a little bit slowly. Um, I've got... You'll have to wait for the next update. I don't want to release too much stuff. Um, but hopefully there's a bunch of... I did a bunch of work yesterday. Um, I've been waiting on things to arrive from overseas and stuff. Um, I think I now have somewhere around $4,000 worth of spare parts. Um, it's just, I've got to wait for other things to fall into place. The carpet still hasn't been warranted yet. So I still don't have carpet. I still don't have the part, the extra parts for the headliner. Um, I got wrong parts sent for the brakes. Um, and it's it's problematic because I'm buying everything off eBay and off the internet more than local shops because local shops aren't that local. Uh, and I could do it at 4 a.m. in the morning. And the stuff is wrong. Uh, I'm also looking at rebuilding the old motor just for shits and giggles to learn. Well, to, to reacquaint myself with re rebuilding motors. I probably haven't done a motor in 20 years. So I've been researching the old pistons and getting all the rings and new pistons and gudgeon pins and i'm just going through and replacing everything but we have a secondary problem where it hasn't taken off as much as i thought it would on youtube and i've made like a hundred i think 114 dollars in total 
um, but spent a metric shit ton more than that. <laughs> I thought YouTube would do a lot better uh, money-wise for the, the mini project, but it's just the, the um, what do you call it? The pay-per-view, not the pay-per-view, um, CPM is just terrible. Um, and if you want, I can share all that information. I've got nothing to hide with that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I have to do, but you don't want it. Don't know what I have, but you don't want it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Power Walls. Yeah, Power Walls. Message retracted. Romania here. Welcome. Where are you from? Let me know. Um, it does help the feed if you're, like, interactive with it. I've prepared for years, plus I have couponing wife that is fully stacked up with supplies. No worries, he's ready all the time, not just last minute and wait till we get cows. Just panic. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm not a prepper, um, but I am prepared, like, you know, for a month or so, maybe at a stretch. I think that's all you need. Um, we have a few weeks worth of supplies here just in case on the positive nothing happens won't need to buy groceries for a while we can just donate uh, those in need that's a really good idea um, what what I'm concerned with I thought that um, and in the last week I've noticed it that my business here has had a downturn like I'm talking 50% less customers 50% less phone calls um, I've still got my remote so I can do the remote login and stuff like that but then i thought well i can rely on youtube income but youtube income income is like the ocean it just goes up and down but if the world goes into some sort of weird recession the cpm on youtube is going to go into the toilet because there's not going to be any advertisers advertising because they don't have any money which means that's going to go down I can't wait until I never hear that noise again. Um, and there's not going to be any money. And the whole YouTube thing as a backup, I don't think is actually a backup anymore. I think it could actually really, really tank. Um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I have 1,700 cells. I can't get any more uh, going into 100p mic average, 2,000 milliamp hours. Uh, with nine kilowatt available, that's a lot of cells still. Um, anyone ordered an IR meter? Pete used in the previous video. Um, I haven't. I haven't even looked. I haven't even done the 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 comments from the last video. I should go back and do it. I'm a I'm a bit behind in that because I've been trying to get that video done. That's actually a very very labour intensive video. It's probably going to take me a full month to, to get that one completed. But it's driving me crazy not being able to use that space because I need that space next week um, to do some mini stuff, actually, because I want to do it inside. There's a lot of a lot of money being put into specific parts, but they're pretty heavy. So I want to be able to do it in here and do it all slowly and methodically under really good lights. Um, good day, lockdown Germany. Welcome. Uh, 1860 battery is uh, one for Japanese black market. Uh, hi from America. I'm 15, and you and Jamie inspired me to build. Where did it go? Uh, my own power wall. I have a hundred cell. I have built a six cell and a four pack so far. That's awesome, man. That's where it all starts. Good luck with your project, buddy. Um, you're looking old, why? Because I got the shits with my wife, I decided not to shave, um, and all my greys coming through. Um, it was, it was literally just to piss my wife off. <laughs> and that was like four months ago. I've shaved once, but I actually like not shaving, so it's easy just to get the, the, the clipper thing and rip around once a week. I will be shaving it off because I do feel old, which is terrible. Uh, makes no sense. Lockdown, but you have to go to work. Um, but the kids have to stay home. It's, it, it doesn't make any sense. The, the, it's it's going to go to shit before it gets any better. Uh, one cell, 1860 batteries, one for uh, Japanese black market. Netherlands, Germany. Hello from the US. Stuttgart, New Germany. Welcome, Robert. And my nose was driving me crazy. Now someone's... Start talking about my beard and now it's tickling my nose. Isn't that just kind of weird? 
<laughs> uh, I watched your IR video this morning. I have, uh, have you tested the entire pack uh, to compare them? No. L look, what I, like what I've always said was I've never done IR testing. Now, I, ha I don't even know what it is here. I've had this for a good year. But I got so pissed off with Bang Good with their crap products and crap delivery times and crap response times that I just refused to do any uh, reviews. I did. I got that for free and then I got that um, T8 for free, but I just didn't do reviews on them because um, some of their stuff was just terrible. And I think they should be, you know, they should be held accountable. Um, only to find out that that's actually something that I should have recommended four years ago, not you know forty minutes ago. Um, and I've tested, I've tested. I didn't get it on camera. I really should have got it on camera, but I didn't think five. It wasn't even took about five hours of IR testing cells was worthy of a of a, of a time lapse. I didn't even bother. Um, but I got four bad cells. Well, not even, I don't even think they're bad cells, but they were 100 million power cells. 100 milliohm cells. So they went into the recycling pot. Uh, working from home next week. I have the benefit of working from home every day. Um, I renewed my TeamViewer license, so I'll be hopefully be able to do all my work remotely. So I'm going to advertise that this week to try and get some more work. Because I still I still need to, I can't operate on fifty percent of I can't operate on fifty percent down. Um, high for Ontario Canada, uh, Bitcoin course go down like hell. Oh my God, Bitcoin! Let's go Bitcoin. I've got like I've still got a couple of Ethereum coins and a few other things. So I've I've got a little bit laying out there. I haven't touched for like a year or two, and. I watched it last week and it just went, Aah! it felt like commit suicide. Uh, the scream of those forest charges. Um, have you got any more data from the bigger packs? Um, the bigger packs work. I mean, I've got the ones out at my mate's place on the farm. Uh, and they are brilliant. They are like 0 0.001 of a volt spread when they're fully charged. But he's a single guy with three kilowatt, no, four kilowatts on a three kilowatt pip, uh, three kilowatt pip inverter. Um, so he's got heaps and heaps and heaps of solar. So he charges every single day by like 11 o'clock. His batteries are charged again. So they balance really well. They balance every single day and they are so perfectly balanced. Whereas mine, I'd be lucky to even to even waste one watt of power in a month. They just don't go into balance. I use so much power that they never get all the way up the top. Um, I'm actively working on that. I'm trying to get more solar put up, but it takes a lot of time. And I, d I don't have that much time to waste to use eight hours to put more solar up. So I've just budgeted it up. Um, I put another one, no, I've got another two kilowatt above my head, um, but it's not bolted down. It's just laying flat on the roof. Um, that has actually had the benefit. We've had a lot of rain lately and it's actually been a lot quieter in the shed because my ears ring, I've got really bad tinnitus. Um, it actually keeps me awake at night. It's so bad. And having all of the extra panels because there's, there's lots of panels up there, because I need panels for this. Um, I've got... I put an extra one and a half kilowatt on my battery bank, so my house battery. So I think... Don't even quote me. I keep forgetting how much. I think I've got seven kilowatts off-grid now. And then there's one and a half on this one now, which keeps this battery and all the lights and surveillance cameras and stuff running. Um, and some of these... Um, the 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 shop lights that these these big lights here i've got running at the moment um and then there's another there's another six panels right at the end here of the shed and it's really heavily shaded but they do something else as well they do a little bit of testing and stuff so my entire roof i got what 54 square meters of roof maybe a little bit more is pretty much completely covered 
Um, and there's still, and I still don't have enough power. What I was going to try and do for a video was working out whether I could hook up this battery bank um, at night time to my other battery bank for my house battery. So when my house battery was low, work out how I could link this one up. But this is 24 volt, where that's 48 volt. So I was thinking, I don't know if this will work. I've never tried it. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do it. I've got a big, uh, like, 100 amp transfer switch, big manual clunky thing. Um, and I was thinking about, only at night time, taking the DC feed off the roof and then outputting it directly from this battery. Now, I can't control amps from this battery and it would just run the amps all the way down and it's 24 to 48 volt. But I thought if I run it into the PIP, no, sorry, into the PCM60X down there by using the solar cables, it would limit it to 60 amps, which means it would just charge the batteries. And um, then, of course, the battery I'm up here would trip the shunt trip once the battery got too low up here. Um, I don't know if that would work, but I think it would make an interesting video if I could get that much information together and get power from this power wall down to that one. David, welcome, brother. How are you, man? Um, how's the eighteen six fifty going? I haven't even watched. I haven't watched David's last video, and I haven't watched Mike Nako's last video. So I'm I'm a slacker, and yet I'm sitting here. <laughs> I've just received a box of Thompson breakers from China. Uh, CDC says no Corona through the mail, but I don't care. It's quarantined on my porch in the sun for a few weeks. That's a really good idea, I think. Um. Hi, David. Thanks for the 10% code with BH. Awesome. Um, uh, I know that David Pulse. I'm going to build a mini club in a state with a Nissan Leaf motor and batteries. Any BMS suggestions? Batrium. <laughs> I'm a Batrium fanboy. I've used the cheap stuff. I haven't used anything else. So I have to, I have to recommend with what I've used. Um, uh, Nissan Leaf, you can use the Leaf Mons or even go Watchmon 5 or 7 depending on your setup. Probably a Watchmon 5. Um, <coughs> six days, Mike, the longest it can survive on a surface. But has anybody actually tested that? They're saying six days, five days. Are they going on what the flu can last or have they got the coronavirus, put it in a, tea, a petri dish? and tested it a hundred thousand times or are they just gone one test all right yeah that's it that's all we need we'll just put that out as advice even though it's probably not true um ir testing necessary look i didn't think ir testing was necessary back in the day i really didn't i thought it was i thought it was stupid i thought it was a this huge waste of time um but that said i had the opus so the BTC 3100s or 3200s or whatever they are. Um, and they were not accurate at all. And then, of course, I had the, the other blue charger. I can't even remember what it's called now. Um, the eye charger, I think it was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. IMAX, that's it. And I could never get an accurate reading. Um, and back in the day when I started this years and years ago, the only thing, I, and it's biting me in the ass now, the only thing I cared about was getting the shit done. I didn't care about anything else. I needed that next video. So I was building these packs and I lost my soul on some of them. And that bit me in the ass. But they've been replaced now. They've... The, the IR testing takes a lot of extra time. But all the old stuff that I used wasn't accurate. And I wasn't thinking about charging the cells back up to 4.2 volts. As soon as I heard that beeping noise from the chargers, the testers, I'd go and find that cell, rip it out, get another one in. Because if I could get 120 cells done a day rather than 90, that was a good day. Um, so none of my batteries were ever the same voltage in order to t do that test accurately. So I think accuracy back in the day was a problem. But with this device... I must have, I tried doing a video, but it got so boring, I just shit canned it. I did one cell 200 times. 
I charged it to 4.2 volts. I let it sit for two days, so it, it rested back to 4.15 volts or whatever. And I just kept going on and off, on and off. And it was within like two, what is it, milliohms? I can't, I don't know the actual setting. But it was like 50, 51, 52, 51, 52, 51, over and over again, hundreds of times. Um, and of course, that made for a very boring video. <laughs> but in my head, I've convinced myself it's a good unit, so I have to run with that for now. Uh, I'm from Pakistan. I can't access DIY Power Group, group on Facebook. It seems like uh, someone has blocked me. Please unblock me. Um, it's probably because you spammed, you put political posts up, you put junk up, or you advertised with an affiliate link. Um, I'll go through and unlock you, but just go through and read the rules because we'll just remove you again if you break the rules because unfortunately, um, I think Mike might actually do that later or somebody will. I'll put it in notes anyway. Um, with the Facebook group, we get so much, there's so much moderation to do. It's easier to boot you out and ban you than it is to try and explain why. Um, if you can't read the rules, <laughs> see you later. Um, we don't get paid very much to do the moderating stuff. So it's the fastest possible way to keep it all clean is just to go see ya. And that goes with anybody. Anybody. Uh, Mike Nako received a box with terrible smell like chemical stuff. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, do you know the difference between... Uh, the $20 IR tester. I think, David, I think I just answered that question. Um, consistency. Consistency, accuracy, and trust. You've got to be able to trust that, that setting. You've got to be able to have consistent results. And I got consistent results with that. Use my affiliate code. <laughs> um, there's no company using 1860 sale. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, customs open mine. There's no company using it. In Japanese market, there's no laptops, there's no drills, there's no cordless drills, there's no EV batteries. Um, 18650s are used in a lot of places. Uh, one tip to keep, oh, even e bikes. Um, one tip keep uh, your beard from tickling your noses to trim inside nose hairs as short as possible. There we go, tip of the day, champion. Uh, talk about um, going to shit. The markets and banks are on the verge of collapse. We'll destroy the pseudo society as fast. <laughs> um, but I think it'll recover just as fast again. Um, why not use DC DC converter for it? Um, because I want to use what I have. I don't want to actually buy anything else. Um, I'm glad that you do the stream. I stopped doing the stream because every stream that I ever done has lost subscribers, not gained subscribers. Um, it's very weird. Uh, keeping us busy, uh, like the Victron TR. I don't know what that is, buddy. Um, I'm in Pakistan, the laptop, um, old battery, not much capacity. How can we wake up the sleep? New idea. Um, well, like batteries don't go to sleep. I think saying they go to sleep, um, softens what's actually happened. It's either flat or dead. Um, you can't, you can wake them up for, you know, by charging them really slowly or parallel charging, or some people shock them. I know I did in the old day, get a 12 volt battery and just go for a second and then whack it on a charger. I mean... I since found out that's stupid, but um, there's no really new ideas out there. Uh, if this, uh, if the what do you call it, the CID is failed or whatever, just recycle it. Unless, of course, you have nothing left, and that's the only cell you have uh, to light your home. I guess there's that as well. The CDC did the test. Um, that's why we uh, were briefed on anyway. Yeah. Um, they will not test us in South Carolina. I have lost over 10 pounds in a week, starting to feel better. I think the government is killing. Oh, 
off the week. <laughs> I'd like to know if the IR media reads are similar to other testers or not. Um, I don't have any other testers. Um, does the, um, I don't know where it is. I, I don't have any other testers that I think I can do it with, and they don't do it. I've got the IMAX. I've got a couple of um, Opus left. I guess I could try and do a comparison between the couple. I don't know what sort of um, a video it is like that. Yeah, it is that. If you have a look at my last video, you can use an affiliate link. Uh, SM8124A, and I found it cheapest on Amazon. I think it was like half price on Amazon, $51 or something, USD. Uh, why would it cycle degrade both batteries? Hey, Dave, how about I send it to you? Send me your address, and I'll, I'll post it over to you so you can use the same unit I did and then um, compare it some results. There's an idea. Save you buying one. Um... Why would it cycle degrade both batteries? It costs more than electricity itself. Um, yeah, thanks. Uh, you did answer the question. There you go. Mike Necker, uh, I don't see you on the block list. Can you request to join again? Thank you, Mike. Uh, someone was mega set cell charger. Oh, I can probably get Mike to do that. Um, if you wanted to test it with Mike. I could send it to Dave, and then Dave could send it to Mike, or I could send it to Mike, and then Mike could send it to Dave. Hell, I'll buy one and send it to Mike. It'll probably be quicker. Um, Dave, do you want to do that video? My shout. Um, I shared my Facebook page but uh, to get likes, probably because of that. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Um... Posting directly to the group and not posting and but sharing other pages all the time will get you booted as well because it drives us crazy because oftentimes it's not in English. Um, what have we got? I think I just got a new subscriber. Um, test that. I shared my Facebook page. Okay, Peter, I used your affiliate link and bought the IO test. I think <laughs> there we go. Uh, did you see Magic Smoke? I haven't seen Magic Smoke for quite some time. Fr San Jose lockdown, not good. <laughs> Delay. Um, Mike doesn't IR test, send a tape. <laughs> but Mike might like to do a comparison test between that device and the other one. Let me know, Mike. I'm not going to say, I think actually the postage to the US would be more expensive than just buying one. I can shout you one, Mike. Um, I've caught up with the chat. So what else is happening in your world that's not Contravirus, a Mini, or Powerwall? Let me know what you're doing, or if you've got a Powerwall project. Um, I don't think the Mega Cell Charger does IR. I thought it would have done IR. It prints bloody labels. Um, there you go. So what else is happening in the world? Who else Who else is locked down? I should actually have a look at... Where is it? That one. That cell has come down a lot since I did the video last night. Um, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, that must be the, 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 the donations I tested. Um, that cell 48 that I did the video on yesterday, that literally only opened, I only did the video yesterday, has come down quite a lot. <laughs> oh, it's been probably 20 hours or something, and it's almost back in line. It's getting there. I don't know which one does the Batrium full screen, but it doesn't matter. Um, what, uh, what's cooking electronics? I don't know. Uh, what's eating? What's smoking? Bacon, hopefully. Um, I actually even I actually even thought about going and buying another deep freezer, just so I could put some meat in there, just so I didn't have to go out, not to prep, but so I didn't have to go to the shops and, and stand a chance of getting sick. Um, I started processing some laptop batteries, fifty percent flat or dead. Um, that's about the hit rate. Um, it depends on where you get them from. I've been really lucky and. 
I've got, I've done autofocus. I should turn that off. Um, give me a second. I'm just going to turn that autofocus off because that just drives me crazy. Logitech, Logitech webcam software, uh, Logitech webcam controller, autofocus. Done. That'll solve that problem. Um, I've done, I think, probably six to eight hundred cells in the last two weeks. And this is the sum total of the bad cells. Why can't I go wider? Go wider. There we go. That's the sum total of the bad cells. And when I say bad cells, um, a bad cell to me is 2191. Oh, that's 16. There's 19. 2215. That one went in the recycle bin. Uh, 18. 2295. That went in the recycle bin. 18. Uh, 2263. That went in the recycle bin. 2069. So I haven't had very many 21, and I give these cells away. They don't they don't go in the recycle bin, so to speak. Uh, there's a 15. There's another 21, 18. I was going to say there's a 3,900, but that's a 2170. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of thousands there. Another 2,000. But yeah, so I, I'm, I'm fairly lucky with the last batches that I've got where I haven't had hardly any bad cells, which is kind of cool. Um, good idea on the freezer. I think so too. I really do. Um, ESR. I don't know what ESR is, Mike. Um, approved smoking of starter laptop batteries. Uh, my 600 senior cells. Um, milliohms. What's drinking? Coca Cola, typically. Um, I think the freeze is a really good idea because we've got the battery and stuff. Of course, if the, the world goes to shit, the first thing that'll go is my battery. Um, somebody will steal it. Um, I have accounted for that. <laughs> um, the freezer thing i think is a really good idea i mean i've already got one chest freezer but it's just got bread and milk and meat pies in it but i was thinking about getting another one just for a little bit of extra meat or or something like that two smaller freezers rather than one massive one that way you don't have to open the big one and they're chest freezers too so they open from the top uh, the Victron I mentioned is one for, of them DC-DC converters uh, you said you won't use because you don't want to have already have the DC-DC transfers. Them. But how do you, does it control the amps? That's what I'm worried about going from here to there is the amp draw because from a battery you can't control the amps. It just sucks in everything it can take. But I'm hoping the, the, the PCM60X down the other end will limit it at 60 amps. Um, output but that's that's from 24 volt that's through that cable that's 120 amps that cable can't do more than 30 amps so I don't think that's a very good idea at all I just did maths is anybody amazed <laughs> um, the smaller one with about 120 watt costs uh, 60 euro which is about 70 or 80 USD which means it's like 150 Australian but I'll have a look at that. Um, thank, thanks for that um, that information, buddy. I'll copy that. Open my good old notepad that I do every time I do a live feed so I can copy everything down and have a look later. I do appreciate any tips and tricks that you give me. Um, I build the 80s right now. Um, a second stage battery for my Polytech, 48 volt. Awesome. I need the equivalent to six 12 volt deep cycle lead acid batteries, 135 watt hour. Um, I'll probably go Nissan Leaf batteries. You have to get the voltages and stuff right, and you'd have to change the, the way of charging it. Um, or LIFO 4 cells, uh, LIFO life, life 4, I think that's how you pronounce it. 
Um, I think that's compatible with 12 volt. That's an option. That way you can keep all your standard charges and stuff. Uh, trying to understand DIY versus buy. Mm, it's a tough call. Well, it's not tough. It depends on your insurance and stuff as well. If you've got real difficult insurance like I have, um, you definitely buy. You wouldn't do DIY. Uh, also, if you don't have a safe place to store it, you would never do DIY. Um, killing off what most of us are seniors. <laughs> uh, would it be interesting if you retested the three cells you pulled out and see how much capacity they have lost over four years? The problem with that is I have the three cells here. The problem with that is back when I first started, I was using for the first um, 500, I think it was about 600 cells. I used, what was it called? The IMAX. And I did one cell at a time, but I didn't use a permanent pen. I used um, a whiteboard marker. So any markings that are on the cell, <laughs> I got the green screen activated. That's a green cell. <laughs> we'll, we'll choose a blue cell because that just looks weird. Can you see my head behind that? I oh, know because that's the green screen up there as well. Um, these cells here, there's nothing written on them. So I can't make out what... Oh, wait a minute. There's something there. Okay, so that I can just make out that one says 2125. I don't, oh Jesus, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see that. It says 21, 20, maybe 2123. So I'll throw that one in. I'll throw the other two in as well. Um, these cells, I've actually, I think with these all need writing on, and then that's it. I'm not testing any more cells, and it could be argued that I will probably test another cell, never test another cell again. Um, I know that sounds bad, but after I've spent months and months and months collecting those cells, probably a good year, uh, and now I'm up to the building stage, it's just taken so long, and it's draw, drawn out so long, um, I probably won't test another cell. I'm not going to bail from the DIY Powerwall scene. I'm still going to constantly test. Um, and if I've got any faults with mine, see how I can work out how to make it better and share what I've learned. But actually building, I think I'm going to back away from and sort of concentrate on my mini for now. Unless, I don't know, there might be another project I'd like to get some uh, Nissan Leaf cells. Uh, there's lots of things I'd like to do. Certainly like to go grid tied or like hybrid set up so um would you be interested if you're if you tested oh that's what I just do you have a version of craigslist over there i usually see a freezes online once a week um i'm not a big f like we do it's called gum tree um but i'm not a big fan of secondhand white goods i'd rather just go and buy new i i think for like under 500 dollars you can get one with a three-year warranty most deep freezers last five to ten years, so I'm happy with that. Um, and it's got a bit like it'll be inside the house, so it has to be aesthetically pleasing as well. And I wouldn't like we we we, uh, we had a freezer for about twelve years, and it died, and we didn't realise it died, and we lost probably a thousand bucks worth of meat, an entire freezer full of meat we lost. Um, so I'd rather, I'd definitely rather buy new. Um, and then moving forward every five years, I think I'm just going to give the old one away and get another one just to, just so we don't have that again. Uh, you have been fortunate. I've had to settle for 200 million, 2000 million power average for my power wall. Um, I haven't been uh, fortunate. I've been picky. Um, now those, these ones, like the last couple of lots I have, have had some really, really good cells. Um, I'm talking, um, I'm not sure if I've shown this yet, but that lot there is 20, uh, 3,200 milliamp hours and above, and there's not that many. And I know it's a long way away and you can't really see, but 
to give you an idea, there is about 3,000 cells here now. Um, that pile there, there's about 200, 3,000. Uh, they're 29s, 28s, and then 27s, you can't, I mean, you can't see, there's about 427s. There's uh, 826s. There's probably 725s. Uh, maybe 250, 24s, and then there's 23s and 22s. Um, but I've been picky because I want to build. I want to build the pack that I'm never going to have to replace or fix. Um, my 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 way of seeing this battery is it's going to replace every battery that I currently have. Um, and in fact, I have considered moving all of my batteries somewhere else um, and simply just using this one battery but I think using all my other batteries alongside of this one will give me conservatively because um, I don't think my big battery is 40 kilowatt hours anymore I think honestly it's probably 30 usable daily cycling usable, usable not without pumping it all the way up to stupid levels of charge, like 4.2 volts. Um, if I add that to it, it's probably going to give me 60, maybe 55 kilowatt hours of storage. Um, and if I put this battery the closest to my big battery, uh, closest to the inverters, um, it'll draw on this one first and hopefully, I don't know, maybe I might get 10 years out of them. I've gotten four years so far, well, almost four years. It's not quite four years yet. Um, what do you reckon? How long are these batteries going to last? What's your prediction? Who thought they would have lasted this long? I certainly didn't. I certainly hope they would, um, with the effort that it takes. I, I save really good money with them too. I mean, I, if I take out 20 kilowatt hours a day, um, since I put them in, I worked out, I think I've saved about $5,000, which if I take into account all of my mistakes, that $5,000 doesn't cover the $10,000 that I spent doing it. Um, but if you add in YouTube income and donations and affiliates and all that sort of stuff, I'm so far ahead. It's madness. It, who would have thought? Um, what's a good old laptop battery price for dollar? That, that has no bearing on anything, buddy, just because of geographically batteries change prices. If you're in America, they're dirt cheap. Um, they're in Australia. People like me want like a dollar fifty per battery. Um, I think on if you if I listed some of these, I know these pink cells are like twenty two to twenty six hundred million hours. I listed them on on eBay. I'd probably get five bucks a battery for them. It's crazy. Um, what distance do you have to transfer? Uh, what do you mean? Transfer what, buddy? What distance? One plus for bacon. It should be 10 plus for bacon. That's a piss poor effort, John. 10 plus for bacon, please. Um, you're welcome. My power wall of 2,800 cells has uh, given me no problem over three years of service. Lucky I haven't blown a single glass fuse. Thanks, Pete, for giving me the bug. Thank you very much for joining in the community, Darren. Um, Glass fuses, how do you find them? I mean, I haven't, I've hardly blown a fuse either. It's kind of odd. We put these fuses in thinking that it would save our bacon, but the only way I've ever blown a fuse is by dead, that I can prove, is either a dead short from me dropping a screwdriver on it. And look, that may or may not have happened. Um, or two, poor handling. Like you just grab the packs and you break them off. I, I, I can honestly say I don't think I've ever had a fuse go because of something happening to a battery or something happening to an individual cell. But then again, we don't fuse for um, a, maybe an error. You know, we, we fuse for that one fault in 10 years' time that might happen. And I need a drink. Um, even though I left my drink bottle in front of my hot air station the other day and it melted my water bottle. Um, doing PlayStation 4 repairs. 
I'm getting sick of doing HDMI ports. So many pads ripped off from boards and expectations. You can fix anything, cost effectively fix anything. That's the key. Um, the freight cost will be high. Um, better locate laptop batteries locally. Thanks for your advice. We'll uh, lay off DIY as I am relatively new. Um, don't enjoy it. Just start small. Move on from there. Uh, salvage fixes. Good night to you all. Thomas Butler here. Welcome, Thomas. Um, cell testing does stink. You got another 2800 tested. I'm trying to build packs now. It's just going slow. Don't use battery if it has an issue. Absolutely. That should go with anything in life. Don't use your car if it's got issues. 10 years if you take care of them. I reckon, look, I reckon I'll get 10 years. I reckon I reckon I could get 10 years out of my batteries down there. Um, if, if Did anybody see the corrosion on that last battery that I pulled out? Um, now, that battery was um, about two years ago on the bottom row of my battery shed. And my battery shed has got a dirt floor. Um, and I'm thinking... Now there is, I, I have footage where I got my Go, GoPro the other day um, with the light. I was trying to look at every single cell. After I saw that, I tried to have a look in there because it's really hard to get into that bottom right hand corner of that battery shed because it's so small and maybe I've got some man spreading happening. Um, I've got other cells that are corroded like that as well even though the battery itself is not in bad condition, according to Batrium. Um, I'm thinking that the, there's moist, there's too much moisture in that shed, uh, which may be causing some corrosion, which may be causing some issues. Uh, I plan on getting some cement and just putting a cement floor in it to stop a little bit of the moisture. I always planned on doing that, but I didn't think it, that battery shed would be that permanent. Turns out it is. But I'm going to do that. Um, I'd like to actually take the door off that shed, take the whole wall off so I can work on it. I'm not sure. Now I've got the hiccups after I had water. Excellent. Um, and do something with that. Maybe, maybe that's one way I could make them last 10 years is to put them in a better environment. Um, I've been relying on thermo siphoning to keep the, the shed air and stuff cool but I don't really have any air vents down the bottom other than the, the holes in the shed. Um, so maybe I need to do something with that, maybe force ventilation. Or maybe I need, maybe I still need the shipping container. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Um, try and locate lower batteries locally, Thomas. Hi, Darren. Darren, hello. Ten years if you take care of them. Ah, that's where we're up to. I caught up again. Um, you have high battery prices, but I have cheap solar panel prices. Yes, ten plus for Pepsi. <laughs> um, and talking about solar panels, I'm I've got those thirty-two two hundred and forty um, watt solar panels. I've had lots of offers and lots of stupid offers, and I've just said no because I think it's way too much like $60, $70 per panel. That's madness. Um, given that I have 32 of them, I want to sell them all to one person, but I want, I would like like 50 bucks a panel or something. Just basically because they're all the same panels. They're all in good condition. They all work. Um, they were pulled down for an upgrade, um, insurance upgrade on an inverter. So the panels are all still fine. Um, I was hoping to get 1500 bucks for them, 50 bucks each. I think that's a fair price. And it will help me continue to do my mini project. So if anybody's keen on that, hit me up. Um, I would also like to do some sort of um, live feed or something here with a bunch of other people. I want to try and actually have not so much a workshop, but maybe a working bee. Um, if this um, get the, the situation with the world gets a little bit worse 
and we need to sort of get together and sort of support each other. I'd like to offer my services and my, my space um, and my tools and equipment if anybody needs help. Um, if we can get a larger group of people here together, maybe we can, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know where I want to go with that, but you know, if we all get bored and we've got to get quarantined in our local area, if we can't go outside of our local area, it'd be good to sort of do something with that in the community as well. Um, and maybe we could live stream it. You know, if anybody else wants to live stream, maybe we could do some of those group live streams, which would be kind of cool as well. So if you're into that idea, let me know. Um, that's exactly what fuses are for. It's not uh, current limbing or slow self-discharging cells. Yeah, slow he heaters. I've had the most amount of problem I've had is with heaters. Heat cells going heat hot, and a cheap thermal camera has been a good solution to that problem. Um, it really does feel like this live feed has stopped. There's no comments or anything coming in. I don't know what's going on. Um, on another note, are you looking forward to the T20 World Championship, assuming that it will not be cancelled due to current problems? I don't even know what the T20 World Championships are. I am the least sporting person under the sun. I went through a stage era where I went mountain bike riding, and that was... Um, I love that, but my knees didn't, and that stopped. Can we use Chinese uh, 1860 2000 milliamp hour cells in your power wall? Yes, you can use any cell in your power wall. There is no limit to what you can use. You've just got to use it with um, reasonable expectations. Um, what distances between your 24 volt pack and your 48 volt pack are you wanting to transfer the energy between? Oh, that's a, uh, about 47. So 50 to 55 meters, I think. I can't remember. I have that written down somewhere. I actually measured it. I actually laid a tape measure out and actually measured the, the distance. Um, that's a long way. And that, that's not going to work just based on those amps alone. Unless I, went, unless I limited the amps. Can you limit the amps on the PCM60X? I don't even know if you can. I limited the amps on the PCM60X, but that's too much extra work. It'd have to be able to just do a switch and, it'd, and then work. Maybe if I try change this battery to 48 volt, that'd be better. Um, we rarely get such amounts of 18650s, um, but I've got 300 cell phone lithium polymer batteries, 2500 milliamp hours is safe for power wall. Um, it's safe to use if you use it in the right situation. It, you can't just you you gotta gotta respect the cell and respect its limitations, um, and then anything's safe. You know, put it outside, put it in a fireproof container, um, away from life and property, and away you go. Um, yeah, you're nuts for not pulling out that red cell you pointed to, even if. Uh, what well, was plus snot rust. I am kind of regretting not pulling that out, but it was a time thing. I needed to get the batteries back up and running again. I know that's not an excuse, um, but I couldn't prove there was anything wrong with it. It was just dirty. Um, and I got my microscope, and again, my microscope, my um, HDMI camera on my microscope stopped working. Um, and I could look down inside and see the CID and stuff on, like inside, and there was no, there was no rust. It was just gunk from, and I'm sure it was just from the flux. Um, Mike, that might have been one of the cells I didn't give a bath. I don't know. Um, yeah, may, maybe I should have looked into that more. But I did, I did look under the microscope and I couldn't see anything there. If there had been something there on the CID or actual rust, not just, you know, gunk. Because I could clean it off. Uh, before I put it back in, I got the toothbrush and the, um, the icy coal out and gave it a bit of a scrub and it came off fairly quick. And also if you touched it with the, a bit of flux, a bit more flux and the soldering iron, it cleaned up pretty quick as well. And you could just wipe it clean. You couldn't do the ring around the outside though. Um, uh, Savage Fixes. Okay, on Facebook, I wanted to know what you think about DIY BMS. Uh, can you do some testing for a YouTube video? Um, if you know about it, Baytrim is perfect, but I can't afford it. Um, 
Okay, so that DIY BMS. I have thought about buying one and testing it, but there's so many other people that have already tested it that it seems like a, a waste of resources, um, namely cash. Um, it's not that much money, but you've got to build it up and stuff like that. And even though I do lots of repairs and stuff like that, I'm not electronically minded at a PCB level, right? All the components and stuff like that. Um, yes, I do PlayStation 4 and Xbox and all that sort of stuff, doing the encoder ICs and all that sort of shit. But that's copied, basic, effectively, it's copied off YouTube. Um, and I wouldn't say I'm any sort of a legend at it. I can just do it and I can make it look good and I can do it ethically and that's what I care about. Um, man spreading, yes. Um, but actually soldering up and doing that sort of thing, I don't think that is something that I would enjoy. Um, also, it hasn't got that long, like, I trust the Batrium BMS. Um, I trust it implicitly. Um, but that sort of thing, I'd be down there with a the multimeter and, and testing it constantly and um, all that sort of stuff. So I, it seems like a good idea, but I I don't think it, it would be a valid thing for me because I'd still, it doesn't matter what would happen. I would still lean towards the Batrium because I've used it for so long. It's, it's a Holden and Ford thing, right? You drive a Holden all your life and you get into a Ford the chances are you're not going to love it instantly. You might grow to like it, but you're still going to have that first love. Water goes through cement. Yes, but it'd probably take longer than going through dirt. Well, that's my theory anyway. Um, I prob Probably, to be honest, a, a, a little $5 fan would probably be a better bet and just run the fan so it just pumps air through. What kind of small appliances have you converted to run on 18650s? Um, my house. <laughs> but I haven't I haven't done any of the little projects. I I haven't I haven't put any old batteries in torches. Just haven't done it. Um, it seems crazy that you get away with as a lack of insulation, lack of vapor barriers up here in northern USA as you would freeze out with a tiny crack. Well, we don't have, like, look, it's, I mean, it's cool out here at the moment. It's not, it's definitely not hot anymore, which is kind of nice. Um, but we certainly, I've never seen snow in my life. I've never even touched snow. Um, I think I've been through that in 20 different live feed, feeds. But um, I've, we, I, I can't even remember the last time it got below zero at my house it just doesn't get that cold to me it gets like 15 degrees um celsius i don't know what that is in fahrenheit um and i've got jumper jeans and i'm bitching that i'm gonna die <laughs> yet i want to see snow go figure um yeah it's we don't we don't have the snow and stuff so we don't have those crazy cold temperatures we get 40 degrees, for, I think I've seen 46 degrees, 47 degrees here is the hottest I've ever seen it. Um, but where my batteries are, it doesn't get that hot because it's like we got northern sun here. So north is that way. My batteries are on that side of the house, sort of under the eaves of the house and there's a big tree there. So there's, there's like 5% of my battery shed gets a bit of sun on the door in the morning and the rest of the day it gets a little bit on the roof but the roof's got a whole heap of wood and old carpet tiles on the roof to stop the direct sunlight so it doesn't get that hot in there i think it's like 38 degrees is the hottest i've seen with the batrium long mons the hottest temperature inside the battery sheds um hi from abisa welcome uh, is that mario uh greetings from nashville oh i see and i can hear you that's a benefit. Nine plus for bacon. Come on, we need ten. Someone give us ten. Cricket, no. Why would anybody... What? Okay, look, this is my take on, on cricket, football, any sport with balls, right? One, why would you hit something, have someone retrieve it, and then hit it again? Golf, golf, golf. 
hit ball, walk after it, hit ball again. It makes no sense. Why do you do such things and why do you actually pay money to do it? <sighs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> um, don't waste time with generic Chinese cells. Um, Mike, I have a different view on that. I mean, if you're in a part of the world that only has those generic cells and you can't get anything else, if that's your only option, if you treat those Chinese generic cells with respect and treat them in the way that they are supposed to be used, well, they should be used, not what it says on the box, they will still get you out of jail. They will still light your home if that's all you've got. You know, they might, you know, create some light for your, your kids' homework in the middle of Zimbabwe somewhere. Um, I think there is the place in the world for them, but it's, you know, not, not at the price they charge. Um, and if you can use any secondhand cell and get a longer life, longer usable life out of it safely, do it. Um, you can limit the amps on the PCX by changing the charge limit, but um, input current as well. Yes, but that means I'd have to manually change it, like I said before. I don't want to have to manually change anything. I just want to turn a screw and that's it. Um, didn't you just say that the, the same thing was the reason you messed up in the beginning? Yeah, I yeah I did, but it's like I'm I like I'm building an entire big power wall, and I didn't build around what I had. I was just building for YouTube videos. Um, Fifty five meters is much special when you want to transfer power at low voltage. Yes, that will be the problem. Maybe your idea of transfer switch is better. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to um, I'll have to work it out. One up for the DIY BMS version 4 test. That's only one. Um, so how can, how can I do that test and make it a valid test? Let me know what you think. You tell me what you want me to do with the DIY BMS version 4. How much is it? <coughs> I still haven't got the 1S units yet. Uh, DIY um, um, BMS uh, version 4, version 4. Um, GitHub, well, that's good. Radio. Okay, so you just buy the boards and then you buy all the parts. Is there a kit? Is there just a kit that I can buy, like a 14S? Warning, um, this is a DIY product, license Creative Common. Problem, a DIY power wall is not constructed. Uh, construction of energy storage. Um, do, 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 do. I'll have to have a look at that later. Uh, how has version 4 improved over version 3? The code is better. Web interface no longer requires access to the internet. To download JavaScript libraries, control provided output. Rules to control relay outputs, uh, cell modules, uh, chip provides pins that lower re removal of 3.3 volt regulator and chips lowers current usage significantly. Version 3 modules, uh, thermo, uh, dual temperature monitoring board plus cells. Okay, I'll have a look. I'll have to find, I'll have to find somewhere that buys, sells the entire kit so I don't have to go hunting around for the actual, um, all the components and stuff. World Health Organization just said dogs cannot transmit the coronavirus and they're safe to be let out in public. In other words, who let the dogs out? <laughs> um, 10 years seems reasonable for a battery life, although I prefer average Joe's holder design for maintenance over time. I liked average Joe's way of doing it, but I don't like the amount of time and effort it takes. I think we have to not only look at um, the maintenance side of it, it's how long it takes. These cell holders, I change those three cells out in a matter of minutes. Uh, it really doesn't take long at all. It took me longer to find three cells that didn't have gunk all over them so I could slide them back in um, than it actually took to pop the cells out. Because um, you just break the four little tabs off and just push the cell out. It, it's so fast. It's, it's a lot faster than what you'd expect. 
Um, the only drawback is with my older bus bars, they're eight millimeters wide and you sort of got to move the bus bar to get the sell out. Um, with the new twisted bus bars, you don't even have to do that. Um, I only just joined the stream, but you, did I just hear bacon? You heard bacon? Bacon is a thing. And in fact, I think I've got bacon in the fridge. I might have it for breakfast. Um, he nailed it, girls. <laughs> uh, at least someone who agrees with me about um, ball sports. <laughs> It's any sport, oh, even motorsport. I mean, I love riding my motorbike, but be if I'm going to sit there and watch somebody going around a track on one. Um, David, in your honest opinion, uh, which region makes um, the absolute best cells? Um, in my honest opinion, I've never researched that. Uh, I don't care where the cells come from as, they, as long as they end up on my floor in a box that I can process. And that box is that green box there is still full of cells that are, are unprocessed. Um, I've never never looked at the region. I've never looked at date codes. Uh, I, all that I've in the past, all that I've done is capacity tested them. Right, they're within my my capacity range. Use them. I don't even look at degradation so much. Um, perhaps I should, but. As if an 1800 cell is, is, is 1500, I'm not going to use it anyway because it's 1800 milliamp hours. Um, if it's a 3000 cell is, is, is you know, 26 or 2500 milliamp hours, there's still a heap of life left in that cell, so I'll use it anyway. Um, but internal resistance testing, I should have always done that. Um, yeah, but absolute best cells. If I had a, a favorite cell, NCR 18650 gray, Love them. Oh, grey or green, because the green's usually slightly higher in my situation. That was a very sick beeping noise. So that, that one's almost dead. Or we filled it with um, hot glue, so you couldn't hear it as much. Uh, 18650 fuse is necessary. Fuses are necessary in life everywhere you go. Um, is there a Bitcoin thing I could buy and have turn on and off remotely relay based on diversion load control? It would be automatically reconnect to the internet every time, automatic. Uh, if you have a look at my old Bitcoin videos, David, I've already done that. I use the Batrium and I use the voltage control. Um, I, can, I can sort of announce uh, there's something with the Batrium that is coming that is going to help us with that a lot. Um, I asked for it about a long time ago but it's a paid upgrade if you want something custom done but it's it's been included in the next release i'm not gonna let you know when that is because i don't know i haven't even got a better copy of that software yet um but there is some interesting upgrades coming for the batrium software um, i'm pretty keen to see it released um of course we've got to go through the beta testing beta or alpha testing i think you'd even call it um, but that will make that process a lot easier. Uh, when it comes to 8650, Peter is the man. He has never steered me wrong. I try and give it a good uh, crack, son. Maybe. <laughs> um, I try and be me at all cost. Um, I'm here to earn money and have fun and get into a community, but at the same time, I'm not going to lose my morals in order to do that. Um, how is your mini going? Uh, I covered that in the beginning of the, of the live stream. It is going really good. Um, I'm having supply issues just getting stuff here um, because, as I said, like my plan with the mini is to completely redo everything. If it's got a rubber component, it gets replaced. Um, so both of the, the subframes are out of the car now. It's just sit basically sitting up on blocks. Um, I have all new brakes except for the hard lines. I'm thinking I need to replace the hard lines as well. I just don't know how to do that. I've got all new brakes, pads, um, adjusters, um, master slave cylinders, uh, rubber tubes. Um, on the front, I have upgrade to 8.5 disc brakes with vented uh with slotted calipers um i have complete rebuild kit for the subframe so every single piece of rubber in the subframe every single bearing um new shock absorbers new cones new adjustable suspension 
Um, everything. I've, I've got everything for the subframe. So hopefully that'll be a cool time lapse putting all that together. Um, I think that's still about two weeks away just because of the amount of time it takes to actually do that and do it right. Um, and I can't do the wheel bearings and stuff here, so that won't be on camera. That'll be somewhere else. Um, but yeah, it's going, it's going well. It's going a lot slower than I thought it would go. Um, just yesterday, it took me like, I think six hours or something to remove the rear subframe and to start stripping it down only because I've never done it before. And I'm relying on YouTube videos and I'm trying to work out stuff out. And it, it's taking me a lot longer than what I anticipated it would take to get something done. Also, liaising with manufacturers and um, and people to get powder coating and stuff done. I want to film the powder coating process. So working with the powder coaters, um, uh, they've hooked me up. I'm going to try and do a, an advertising video for them in exchange for the powder coating, which really works to my benefit because it's a couple of hundred bucks. It's a lot of hundred bucks, actually. Um, to have everything sandblasted and powder coated so it's all going to look new. Um, yeah, there's lots of things happening with that. Um, I think, I think, I, I, I honestly thought the YouTube side of things would go nuts for the, this project, but it sort of hasn't. Um, I'm hoping that picks up a little bit. Maybe you guys could help by sharing. I don't know. Um, the motor, I've, I've settled on a motor. Um, it's the cheapest possible motor I can buy, and it's still three, uh, $4,800, which I don't have. Um, and I really don't want to put it on credit card. So what I've done, uh, it's actually moved. I fixed my 3D printer um, and I've done all the AutoCAD files and stuff like that where I'm gonna actually print a motor. Um, so I'm gonna print the motor that I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna hopefully use that as a mock-up so I can start getting a better idea on placement of batteries and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming down to money. It's coming down to money and what I spend and what I can, how many steps forward I can take. But I understand people are waiting for the EV part of it. Um, it's definitely going EV. I, like I said earlier, I'm also gonna rebuild um, the motor slowly, just so I can get back to my roots. I've rebuilt more mini motors than I care to ever admit to. Um, and I like to do that just as an exercise in proving that I can still do that sort of stuff. I'm also realizing my 45 year old body is a lot more um, broken than I thought it was um, than my 25 year old body when I used to do the minis so it's it's a lot harder just because it takes stuff takes so long to do um, DIY version 4 you get printed by JLPCB I get offers from them every single week to get freebies so maybe I'll do that uh, printed and solders uh, connect to 16S7P um, Sorry, I've got to read that again. Hi, can I connect a 16S 7P 1852 battery with an external 16S 3P 21700 battery? The, the short answer is maybe. As long as, as you've got to get all the chemistries and stuff close, or if not perfect, um, and all the voltage ranges right. If the voltage ranges are right, um, both top and bottom, I can't, s it's, it's very vague. I don't have enough information there, but the theory is, yes, you can. Um, if it was lead acid versus lithium, absolutely not. That's craziness. Um, I could not find a kit for the DIY version four right now. I built it myself and I can give you all the info. Um, if I did the build or test, maybe I some spare modules. Um, Hi Pete, how late am I? I have absolutely no idea. I don't have that screen running at the moment and now I still don't. I've, um, you're on one hour, 18 minutes and 12 seconds late, buddy. <laughs> um, and it's and it's still 5.09 a.m. So I don't even think anybody will be awake in the house. Um, I should be able to see who is awake in the house. It's only running seven amps. Um, I can't even see that. That's too small to even see. Um, where is it? Where is it? I've lost the screen. The house is only using 330 watts, so nobody's awake in the house at the moment. Um, my static draw. I don't even know which um, screen I'm on. 
the static drawer in the house is um, that one is I think about 650 watts, 700 watts when everyone's awake. You know, TVs come on, computers, phones get charged, iPads, the fridge gets open and closed. But, but once the toaster gets used, it cranks it up a little bit in coffee in the morning. It drives, goes up to, I don't know, 2,000, 2,500 watts or something. So nobody's awake inside the house at the moment. Um, Where am I up to? How late am I? I agree with your petition about sports. I can't watch sports. I only like to do them myself. Um, that table look a bit bendy behind you. It's a lot bendy, and it needs. I need to. I need to get rid of that. Um, that shelving underneath it. Um, the plan was to actually make a nice big bench there, but I like the fact it's it's fairly modular, and I can get rid of it if I need it. Um, and I've got to keep all the cells sort of in the middle. But that bit of wood has um, been with me for many years. And it's got many, many different scribbles and notes and burn marks and holes drilled in it. And it's kind of one of those things that I've, I, it was, um, I don't know if anybody remembers, but it was when, when I had the bench here, when I had that L shape here before I moved all my benches around, um, this was a bench top to that. So there's no sentimental value. It's just got, it's just got character. So I don't want to get rid of it. Um, I did find a couple of bits of steel I could put underneath it to, to reinforce it. But I just haven't brought them up yet because I've got to cut them with a the grinder to get them to fix, to um, to fit. Sorry. Um, but all the, hopefully in hopefully hopefully within a week or two, all that'll be gone. Um, I'm building up the packs today. I've got a, I've got 14, actually I think I've got 15, um, 200 p cell holders here from 18650shrink.com. So there's 200 p, and I've got 15 of them because I think I'm going to build 15 rather than 14, so I got one spare. Um, hopefully I build those packs up today, and I can take them off this bench. Um, they're not going to have the lids on them yet because all of the blues, well, any cell that's not grey is going to get rewrapped. Um, I've got um, cells from 18650shrink.com, cell, cell wraps, look at that, 29. Um, so I've got new wraps coming for all of them around the outside. So I've got about a thousand um, rewraps to do. And I've been trying to work out how I go about doing the shrink wrap as fast as possible um, and the solution I come up with I bought a whole heap of uh, rare earth magnets uh, 10 millimeters by 3 millimeters and this will be in a video um, but my, my plan was if I got a 3 millimeter wrap a 3 millimeter um, battery of friggin magnet I can just get the battery and put it on top on the negative side, I could put it down onto a bit of steel so it just sits there, and the cell will stay there. Because one of the things is when you when you sh shrink wrap them, shrink shrink wrap them, it's hard to get them accurate, like the the shrink wrap sitting in the right place and not blowing over when you use the hot air gun. And also, you can put the little um, nylon insulator in, and it's not going to move around. You have 20 of them, set them all up, and just go backwards and forwards and I think it's going to be the fastest possible way to do a thousand shrink wraps which is what I think I have to do so let me know if you think that's a dumb idea or you think it's genius I personally think it's genius I think it'll work really really well and I think it'll be stupid fast um, how long can I let my second hand or unused battery sit in a box before I have to start to worry um, well, how long do laptops batteries sit in laptops? I mean, I've got laptops here that are 10 years old and they're still okay. So going on that, I, I don't think you'd have a problem for a long time. Um, sorry, I should have phrased my question better. I'm, um, I'm good on having a relay turn on and off. Sorry, I'm going to have to go back and reread that. Dave, if you want to reach out, just reach out. 
um, via Messenger and we can have a chat there or um, video chat or whatever. Um, I've forgotten, completely forgot what the, the, the history to that was, sorry Dave. Um, how's coronavirus going in Australia? Um, there's been a lockdown in Caloundra, I think, which is only a couple of hundred k's away from here. Um, I think it's the north coast. Um, a little bit worried, not worried about coronavirus, I'm worried about their reaction to the coronavirus, as I said earlier. Uh, computer, the coin computer knows to start up again without me having to go and manually turn on. Um, you could use a relay, but it's high amp. Oh, I will be worried about the DC amps. I use the power button, so I use the pulse on um, on the Batrium to actually get my computer to turn on and off via um, the state of charge, not the state of charge. Yeah, the state of charge, SO, no, not SOC, um, just by the voltage of the battery. Um, I think I did it with a relay with the um I did it with a relay with one of these um to turn the computer on and off um but I think what I found was when I did that that's a 48 to 12 volt converter um and then I used the Pico um to do the the power I what I found was it blew up um, video cards. It wasn't really reliable when it comes to getting the stuff to turn on and off reliably. Um, look at that. Apart from just ripping everything out of the wall. Um, so that's the... What I had was the, the, the negative and positive there. And that went on to the 12 volt side of that 24, uh, that um, 48 volt to 12 volt converter. And then I had the cables and stuff coming off for the video cards. So they're the three, the three video cards that I had running for the cards themselves. And then that was for the Bitcoin, that was for the, the riser cards. And then those were for the motherboard. Those two for the motherboard. Um, and then I had another another cable coming off 12 volt to run the hard drive. Um, no, actually, no, I just run it with a USB hard drive. So that's how I did it. But I did try with a relay turning this on and off. And then I did something with the power switch. And it just wasn't... From, from memory, don't quote me, from memory, it kept blowing stuff up. It might have been motherboards that it was blowing up because it's just that inrush rather than soft turning it on with a power button it was just going whack um, and I'm, I'm not I'm not didn't didn't look into it I just wrote it off as a bad design and stopped using it um, uh, friends going off grid lately how your friends off grid system going lately I haven't been out there for a while but we had a couple of days where the battery went flat and we had to go to generator um, just because it, we had like two weeks of rain. Um, but it's still going real well. He loves it. He, he loves the fact that he doesn't have to run a generator um, or gas fridge. Uh, David Potts, you can get the application to start on boot. The problem is corruption when the computer goes down. Uh, I keep saying you need to get an EV part of it, not a gasket replacement. <laughs> I know, but I have to do these parts first, Mike. I have to. I have to do the boring bits first. Um, and I started nutting around, and I found some more rust, which I'm not very happy with. Um, but I think, I think the rust is the rust is not structural, but it's just annoying. Uh, I need a new, a whole new valance along the back, which is going to take a little bit of work, and I don't have a, a MIG welder to actually do it. So I might have to take that somewhere and get that done once the car's sort of um, together and going. Um, chat's dropping off because your feed is is playing 
as I over and over repeat loop. What do you mean by that? Dropping, chat is dropping off your feed is playing as an over and over loop. Why is it over and over? Is it just because I'm covering the same stuff? Well, that happens in chats, unfortunately. Uh, so you just get, uh, yes. I'm not a computer programmer. Maybe there is no, no device that does it automatically. I'm not sure. Hi, Dad. Hi, Johnny. How are you? Um, I'd refresh your page. There's no repeat I can see. Okay, no problem. Uh, don't forget to like. Smash that like button. Um, can you make a good assess suggestion on a good step-down converter? Yeah, that one I just had in my hand is a brilliant one. Um, if you go, I think down below, I've got a link to my Amazon page, my Amazon store, and it's in there. Um, it's a 48 to 12 volt converter. Um, if you want to message me privately on Facebook or whatever, please do, because this is how I earn a little bit of extra cash. Um, it's a 720 watt DC to DC converter. Uh, input is 48 volt. Output is um, 12 volt at 60 amps. Made in China. RC None. It's got written on the back. And that's actually a really good unit. I've... Um, Oh, I thought there was something rattling there, but it was the volts. Um, that runs... I've also got cables made up. That's why the MC60s are on it. That actually runs my charging, discharging station um, when I'm only running the Opus. is not this big big rig here from um, Rowan. This big rig just saves us money. Swapping and changing parts around so we don't have to spend so much money is a good thing. Uh, can you make a good suggestion on a step down converter? There we go. Um, there's a script and uh, start, stop um, the mining. You can add extra smarts to it. Pete, use Batrium to trigger. It really worked well with the Batrium. The problem was I run it for months and months and months. Um, and the reality was by the time it started, like, when I started, it was when it was the decline of Bitcoin, right? Um, I mean, I, I, I didn't lose any money from it, but the ROI with three cards on my Powerwall, it was only running for like three hours a day, if that. Um, and it just wasn't... It, I wouldn't have even paid for the bloody connectors on the, on the or the Pico bloody 12-volt converter thing. There's just, there was no ROI for me doing it. It was just stupid. It was a stupid waste of money. I would have been better off just wasting it as heat. <laughs> um, with Pete set up, he used a DC DC power supply called a Pico PSU. That's the one. Uh, depending on what your operating system are you're running, you get in a program um, start and boot. That is not bad. The problem is telling the computer to shut down safely before it gets turned off. Yeah, and that's the problem with um, using the relay just to shut the power. You can tell the BIOS to turn on as soon as it gets power or to re resume in the S1 state, but it's really not worth it. I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. Don't bother. It's just not worth it. It's a cool video, but yeah. If Bitcoin went back up in price again and there was all hype around it, it might pay, but yeah. Um, configure power button pressure down the system trigger required script regardless of OS uh, shutdown opposed to turn off. Um, different events happen. I think you'll work if you can hook up a controller power button, press a bit for Batrium, maybe a relay, not sure about the side of electronics. Michael, I've already done that, covered that two years ago in videos. Um, I actually linked that on Facebook the other day. I'm not going to go, I, I know better, I'm not going to go looking when I'm on a live feed, that's madness. Um, where any anybody new here? Whereabouts are you from? Let's get this um lot. Let's get this chat happening again. Otherwise, I'm going to disappear and go and make myself some bacon and eggs for breakfast. Win B, you missed it. No, I'm still here. It's an hour and a half. This is a long one for Pete. Although my throat is starting to get a little bit sore, which is just a problem with my feeds. Um, there is no money in coin mining now unless you have some monster set up with free power. Absolutely. I found that I didn't, I, like I made quite a bit of money on Bitcoin, um, whereas I could cover my power bill, like my power bill, I covered all my hardware costs, um, I made a little bit extra on YouTube, 
but where I made money was people were um, people saw my YouTube videos and then come to me to get their rigs fixed, um, and I made uh, a million times more money. Like you know, I was making thousands of dollars every week um, fixing mining rigs as opposed to mining. But the the benefit was too, I had up to ten rigs here working at any one time. I didn't really advertise that fact. Um, but they were all mining under my wallet. So I think I got like four um, Ethereum coins as well. I've got two of those left. Um, yeah, so I, I was mining under, to my own wallet as well as fixing all these rigs and getting them all tuned up. Um, I think they've all been sold now. <laughs> Nobody owns rigs anymore around here that I know of. Um, Relay the system startup and shut down based on it. What? No, it wasn't SOC. It was um, it was via the 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 voltage of the battery. It wasn't the state of charge of the battery. State of charge is from the shunt. I was just doing the voltage. <coughs> and there goes my throat. That really hurts. And I had it set up. Um. Can I, can I, sh do you want to, do you want me to see? I don't know. Um, where is it? That screen. If I go to that screen, um, my dog's digging behind the shed. So in the Batrium, that one, I went to menu and then I went to hardware and I went to yes. And then, no, I went to Control Logic. And then I used, I think I used Critical. Used Critical, and then I used, uh, I changed the, um, the delay restart to the maximum, which is like 10,000 seconds, I think, which is 10 minutes or something like that, 6,000 seconds. Anyway, it's 10 minutes. I changed the, the, re, the, to delay to start and stop for 10 minutes and then the cell um, the the low and the high here when it got to like 58 and then I put the low at like you know, 56 or 57 or something like that so it turned on and off by these and then you use the relay um, uh, control logic where's my relay um, it's been a long time since I did this. I'm very sorry. Uh, expansion. And then I use Relay 1 and then Relay 2 and then paralleled them. So it, um, so the two relays worked in conjunction with each other. So I've got Relay 2 on cooling at the moment. So I don't, I don't know if that helps or even explains it, but that's that's what I did to, to get that to work. And it did work flawlessly, and it did work every other day. Um, Chris Chester, what motor have you settled on for the Mini? Um, AC20. It's the cheapest possible motor. Um, and I've got to really reach out to him again. The guy, because I haven't reached out to him since he reached out to me, and I've got to tell him I want it, but... Um, like I said earlier in the stream, there is no money left to pay for it at the moment. And I don't own a credit card or anything like that. So I've got to wait. Hopefully within a month, I'll have the $4,800 $4, I need. Um, but realistically, YouTube only pays like, I think, $400 a month. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll work out a way of getting it. I'll work out a way. Um, I knew it was always coming up, so, um, and with, to be honest, with the coronavirus, um, too, I'm a little bit scared to spend any money that I don't have, or loan money or anything like that, um, just, just in case, just in case work goes down, I might have to, um, rearrange things a little bit, so I get that, that's definitely a, um, a consideration with a mini project, the DIY electric mini project. Um, can you give us a wiring update, Flora? Uh, what do you mean a wiring update? To what, buddy? Um, I haven't really changed much wiring lately. 
this is my name. I have four 12 watt, 2.5 amp, and one 12 watt, 6 amp. I was wondering if you can help me what gauge wire I need. No, that you just Google that. Work out your amps and Google it. There'll be plenty of um, things on the old interwebs that'll tell you that. Bilge pumps. Um, hi, Ralph from Sweden. Have you helped me greatly build my Powerwall 48 volt MPP solar? MG, I don't have an MG, I've got the older one. Um, I'm learning something every time I watch your channel, keep up the good works. Thank you very much for tuning in, buddy. I'm, I like I like comments like that, it makes me feel good about what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to teach anybody, I'm trying to share my, um, share my journey, share my successes and failures. Um, I have a dead solar, a small 3K, it makes a buzzing sound if I connect AC to it. Instead, even if I connect the battery to it, any ideas, um, throw it in the bin. Yeah, that sounds like um, that's way outside of my um, electrical knowledge. My apologies, Lee. Mark, I got a sec to explain cryptocurrency. <laughs> what process is running on those video cards and who does all the computing benefit? Some sort of distributed computing or supercomputer thing. Okay, so Bitcoin mining. I'm basically swapping electricity and hardware costs um, to do a transaction. So a Bitcoin mine is a bit like a bank. Now, a bank has an ATM and that ATM has to ask a server somewhere in the world um, if I have money and it has to verify I have money and it has to um, reconcile my accounts and it has to do it all in a tenth of a second, right? Um, so a bank has 500 of these massive servers all over the world that suck huge amounts of energy but nobody ever thinks about um, to process all these transactions and to make sure all these banks work properly and all that sort of stuff, right? So Bitcoin is a, is a bank. It's just an ATM, except Bitcoin miners do that processing. But because it's not a trusted institution, you have to have more than one person doing that transaction. And the transaction, I, and this is the way I believe, is much more difficult. Um, so basically, Bitcoin miners are just working out whether or not my Bitcoin mining wallet or any crypto wallet has money in it, has it says has the amount it says it has in it, hasn't been like someone isn't lying or something, so it, it checks the hashes and all that sort of shit. So it's just, it's it's effectively just a transaction, and that transaction costs time and money, so we get paid for that in what could only be described as fake money. <laughs> but let's face it, paper is just. I believe that it has a value, so therefore it has a value. It's religion, isn't it? <coughs> people believe <coughs> it's true, therefore it must be. If enough people believe it's true, it must be true. And my throat just started getting sore from talking relentlessly for an hour and 42 minutes. Um, home setup wiring. Um, I've detailed that on the forum. Have a look below. There's a link to my official thread. I've got a detailed wiring diagram there that's about two or three years old, which isn't current, but it still shows what I do. Um, just Google AC20 um, motor. I think it's a 48 volt to 72 volt motor. AC20. I think there's a hyphen in between the two. Um, did you fix those through, uh, issue with Pack Forty Eight? No, I didn't fix them. I just replaced them, um, and they're over here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna capacity test them later on today, and have a look and see what they do. Um, actually, I should I should be charging them up. How's this gonna go with the, the solder on it? Oh. Oh, and they and all three of them say they're fully charged already. Um, my money was on the Sanyos. 
Um, I was wondering if it's possible to increase the range of an e-scooter. I haven't done an e-scooter. I bought a couple of scooters to actually modify and do, but I got bored. Um, I released a coin called Global Coin back in the day. I think heaps of people tried releasing coins. Um, I just sold all my Bitcoin. Hopefully, it was the right thing to do. I was got like last week when um, Ethereum was like, I don't know, but it, my my wallet was like at about a thousand dollars, and I'm thinking maybe I should get rid of it. Like I was just going to pay bills with it, um, and then like. A day later, it started dropping down, and then two weeks later, it's just gone on the toilet. So it can just sit there for another another six months, I reckon. I'd like to wait until it gets back up to $1,500 plus. That was my ceiling before. If I can get it back to $1,500, um, it'll be a huge profit margin for me when I sell it. Um, how long have you had that cough for? Um, about uh, 48, 24 hours. But it's I've coughed like once on camera, and I left it there just for fun. I should have, on that, on that video, I should have gone, just did the flat line, beep, and then just did a black screen after I coughed. I, I think I missed that opportunity for editing. I didn't think about that until I was in the shower later on that night. <laughs> but I'm only coughing now because just talking constantly just, just dries your throat out. Uh, hi, Pete. Uh, how... Uh, your cells balancing with the new setup of your battery shed are uh, referring to the last video. Thanks. Um, I think I just where's me um, That one there Does that one do it that one does it they go real good um, you, If you work out each of the 14 packs, it's really really close um, But the problem the, the the bigger problem is it doesn't work. It was a stupid waste of time. Um, I didn't use big enough cables. The cables that I used were far too small. And the, the problem is you've got uh, cell 14. Now I've, I've gone out with a multimeter and these and these figures for the long ones and the actual um, power wall itself are consistent. So cell 14 is three, uh, 3.82 volts. I don't know if you can see it there, it pops up. That's cell 14. Now if you move to cell, uh, what is that, 28? 28, that's 3.81. So it's 0 0.01 of a volt less. Um, now uh, 28, now you go to 42, and it's 3.8, so it's point. 0 02 of a volt difference and it's been there for an entire week and it's still transferring about a quarter of an amp um the wire is simply not thick enough to transfer enough current to make that big battery that those three big batteries into one massive battery it just can't do it and the whole idea between the video was um, to not fix my battery, but to get more amp hours or more usable capacity because that 42 cell, was it 43? I can't remember. Um, 42. It can't... I didn't fix 42 it's still 42 is still a bad cell um, and I still don't charge the battery enough enough to balance it um, and this brings me to if I had active balancing like a lot of people have said do active balancing do active balancing it doesn't get around the fact that that 42 cell is still faulty um, it either low capacity self discharging or um, blown fuses so although it was a good video um, from a, a learning standpoint it didn't achieve what I needed it to achieve um, and there's all the batteries there aren't exactly the same um, if I maybe used now I'm not very good at the gauges maybe maybe five gauge I don't know what that size is but if I use something the size of my my pinky some nice heavy wire that it would create one huge battery 
um, that would have worked. And that would have done what I thought it would have done in the head, my head, and they would have all been balanced. Um, I can change these out to just the first 14 or, or the last 28 cells so it looks like the battery is all balanced. But it's just not. It was a really bad idea and I plan on redoing it. Um, I haven't bought more wire yet because um, I'm going to have to go down and fix that 40 cells. I don't know if that 42 cell fixing that is a video or not. I don't know if you guys want to see that sort of stuff. To my mind, it's just boring, repetitive. I'm just fixing the old stuff. I'm not really doing anything groundbreaking or new um, like David Poltz does and, um, and, and a few others. They actually do videos where they do new projects all the time, but I still keep rehashing the old stuff because I want to work out whether this is providing something for the community. I, you know, I don't want to just venture off too much other places other than minis. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. I guess with time, we'll find out whether that was a bad idea or not. Okay, back to the chat again. Um, uh, video, Sweden, cheers, mate. A nana nap time, vitamin C. It's not, it's nothing to do with vitamin C. It's just shut up for a little while. <laughs> um, 300 milligrams daily. What has happened to those ant miners? Um, the ant miners I sold. Uh, I made, I, I did a couple of videos on those ant miners, but they were, they were terrible units. They used so much power. I think I made like a hundred bucks each on those. So I made 200 bucks profit back in the day. Um, I've been watching you for a long time. I'm from Poland and I do not watch live because there is no uh, translated text for this option. It does not work live. Could you do something, please, in best regards? There's no way I can do translation. Sorry, buddy. Um, possibly a live recording. Um, now is the time to buy, apparently. Uh, unfortunately, I don't understand very much. Or could you say... Bartek, yes, no, <laughs> no. Sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't translate it. Sorry for the live feeds. Uh, I need to use fuses on those wires too. Um, I, everyone's saying I need to use wires on those big ones, but I don't. Um, if I had a, if I had a three, like I got a two hundred p pack. The, all the cells are fused, so if there's a problem, the cell fuses would go. I don't. I think the fuses in between the packs would just add resistance. I don't think they'd be of any real value. I mean, even even down the side, the left and right hand side, they're just they're just joined together. They're not fused. I can't see how. I think fuses would add a level of complexity, and they'd add an extra cost. I can't see how fuses would help in that situation. If one went, they'd just blow all the cell fuses if it was a dead short or something like that. Um, I know everyone said, even, even Jaron told me to use fuse, cell fuses, but, um, or pack fuses or whatever. I don't know what you bloody call it, but I don't, I don't think it's necessary at all. Um, a lot of my videos are troubleshooting videos, I guess. They're me talking and me, me, me sharing what I've learned, I guess. Um, is the 1860 cell pack uh, uh, from a laptop battery saber saw 5p? No, I don't think it is. Um, your fuse currents and stuff just aren't there. Um, need to prove. No, the wire would not transfer enough amps before. Oh, wait a minute, where'd it go? No, that wire would not transfer enough amps before melting um, to blow pack fuses. Yeah. Um, I can't help that. Sorry, dude. I don't know Polish. I can't help. Um, is there any other questions and stuff like that? Other than that, I'm going to have to bail. My throat is starting to get a bit croaky.
and I still have to talk for work, so that would be a bad thing, I think. Um, if you've been here the whole time, please smash that like button. If you need any affiliate links and stuff, hit me up. I would really appreciate it. Um, all that sort of stuff has died in the arse lately, and there's not much of it to go around. Well, there's, more, there's not as much to go around because there's so many people doing it. But um, Yeah, my, sorry. I'm fading fast. My throat is actually starting to get sore. So I might bail and I might call it a day. Um, if you've got any last questions, quickly get in there and do them and then I'll, um, I'll reply quickly. Other than that, thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one. Maybe. I'll start, I'm gonna, I, I promised, I promised I'd start, stop doing live feeds because I lose too many um, um, subscribers, but I might start doing, I, I really love sitting here and talking to these guys, especially when you're really interactive and stuff and dropping heaps of qu comments and questions. Um, if we get quarantined, absolutely, if we get quarantined, I will, if boobs or butts, boobs, all day long, there's something about nipples that just works. <laughs> hey, we, we went a whole live feed without any moobs or boobs. That's impressive stuff. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, if you like doing it, keep doing what you're doing. Um, yeah, if, if we all get quarantined and stuff like that, uh, the other guy that works here isn't going to be here. I'm not going to have any customers walking up the driveway. So I might, um, I might probably throw my webcam sort of up there somewhere in the room and I'll just spend all day. Whether I'm actually interacting with these guys or not, I don't know. But I might just throw it up there so people can watch me walk around watching YouTube videos or some shit. I don't know. Maybe that's a choice. Would anybody sit there and give me a whole bunch of watch time to do that? Let me know in the comments after it stops. Anyway, tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you later. I'm out of here. End stream.